In this tutorial, I want to show you how to arrange a set of images or icons and the text explanations on a slide. So this is uh, the slide that we're going to try to create quickly and easily using the tools within PowerPoint to help us. We have a series of icons here. We have the text explanations right beside them. They're all aligned, they're distributed nicely, and we've drawn a, a rounded rectangle around them. So how do we do this when this is what we start with. We've pulled in all the images or icons. We've uh, typed in different text boxes. How do we get it back to this nice arrangement? And so what I've done is I've uh, listed the steps we're going to go through here on the slide. So let's walk through them step by step so you can see how they work. So the first thing is we're going to get all the text boxes aligned to the left edge. So all the text boxes are lined up to the left because the that's where we want the text to be. So an uh, easy way to select all the text boxes, just take our cursor, draw a rectangle around so it goes around all of them, but not any of the icons. And then on our shape format ribbon, we say align left. Okay, so we've got that done. Then we align the icon center. So different icons or images are going to be different widths. So we want to arrange them so that they're aligned at the center. So again, I'm going to select all of them using my big rectangle here and say align the center. Okay, so now I have all the text lined up and I have the icons lined up. So they're a little too far apart, so that's okay. I'm just going to select all of my text boxes and I'm gonna move them over to the left so that they're about as close as I want them to be to the icons. So I've done that. Now, what I want to do is I need to set up each icon text explanation pair, because they're paired, and I need to align them at the middle, which is uh, vertically at the middle, and then group them, because then we're going to be able to move the groups around. So I'll select the first two, and on my shape format, I'll say align these in the middle, and then group them. And I will do the same for each of the rest of these items here. And what I'm doing here is I'm creating groups that are properly aligned because I, I had grouped them or I had aligned everything, all the text boxes, all the icons. So I've got those in the correct shape that direction. Now I'm getting in the correct shape in the other direction. So I continue this, align middle, group and my final one. I align those in the middle and group. Now by aligning in the middle I only moved each of the text or the icon vertically so the horizontal positions did not change and that's really important that we didn't change the horizontal position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these groups where I want them to be on the slide. Let's say they're all the they're a little too far to the left. So I'll select all the groups and I'll move them over. I want them more closer to the center. And now what I want to do is I want to move each of the groups into the, the vertical position that I want because when we distribute them, it'll distribute from the topmost to the bottommost. So let's say the top one, this group here, I'll select the group, not the text box inside, and I want to move it vertically down. Now I could use my down arrow to do that or I can hold the shift key down, use my cursor to then drag it and notice it's dragging it vertically aligned. It's not moving it. And the bottom one, let's say that's too far down. So I'll select the group, shift and drag up. Now you'll notice they're kind of on top of each other. That's okay. Because once we've got them in the positions that we want, the top is in the top one, the bottom in the bottom, we've got it where we want it on the slide. Then I'm going to select all the groups. In my shape format, I'm going to say align and I'm going to say distribute vertically. And now what it's done is it's distributed all of them so that they're equally spaced out vertically. We have all the text aligned, we have all the icons aligned, and the text is aligned with its appropriate icon. And now if I wanted to draw a rectangle around, I could easily uh, do that. So I'm going to select my uh, rounded rectangle here, let's say. I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle around it. I'll adjust the corners, not so curvy, no fill color, 
and I'll leave the outside aligned. So that's how you can quickly and easily align icons or images and their text explanations if you want them vertically oriented. You can also do this horizontally. So if I wanted to set up my text this way underneath each of the icons, so it's more like a caption. Again, when we start, we start with the text boxes all over and the icons all over. So when you're doing it horizontally, it's a little bit different because uh, some of the text has to be adjusted a bit. The text boxes, we need them to all be the same width and to have text wrapping, word wrapping, because otherwise they might be too wide for the area of the slide that we want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the text boxes, got all those selected, and then I want to set them to be the same width. So on the shape format ribbon, there's a width setting here. You'll notice it's blank because each of the text boxes is different width based on the text that's in there. So I'm going to say I want this to be, let's say, 1.5 inches. Now, um, that's going to be adjusted based on your text and how, how big your slide is, how much you want to take up. I think that's going to be okay for what I want, but you notice the text did not wrap. So I click on the expansion here to get to the format shape a task pane and in the text box section I scroll down and I say wrap text in shape so I check that box and then I can decide whether I want the uh, text to be aligned center left whatever is appropriate for the type of slide you're doing in this case um, on the home ribbon I selected center alignment the default is left aligned, but I didn't think that that was going to work well. I think center alignment works better for captions underneath icons or photos. So I've got all of my text now uh, set up in terms of the size of it. It's wrapping properly, and now I align it to the top. So I'll say align to the top. So now all the text boxes are lined up at the top. Now I got need to do the icons. So I'm going to align the icons in a similar way but the alignment here I'm going to select is middle so that the icons might be different heights but this aligns them in the middle again these could be images if you're using those as well now all the text boxes are they close enough to where the icons are well not really I, I'd like them to be a little closer so I'll move all of them up quite tight there that's good now we've got all the text boxes there for each of the icon text pairs, we need to align them in the center. So I'll select this pair and I'll say align in the center and then, like we did before, we'll group them. So similar here, this pair, align it to the center and then group them. And this group here, we will say align to the center and then group. So we just need to go through and get all of the pairs properly aligned and grouped so that we can then move the groups. You notice sometimes I'll draw the rectangle around to do this and sometimes I will select the two items, especially if they're a little too close to one of the other items. So my last one here, I'll align the center and then I'll group it. So here we're going to distribute it horizontally. So we have to have the one on the right where I need it to be. So to move it horizontally only and not mess up the vertical alignment, I'm going to hold the shift key down. I'm going to drag this over. And uh, some of these I need to drag over. So hold the shift key down, drag this one, and hold the shift key down, drag this one. I need some space over here because I'm putting something else on this slide. So now that I've got all the groups, lined up in the vertical orientation, I need to distribute them horizontally. So I will select all of them and say align and distribute horizontally. And now I have my icons or images and the text captions, explanations, all arranged nicely on the slide in the spot where I want them on the slide. So use those techniques to arrange icons or images and their text explanations or captions on your slides and what you're doing is you're leveraging the power of PowerPoint to align items and to distribute items and you're doing it in a sequence so that you get the alignment and the distribution in the right order and it makes it easy to create this slide
quite quickly. This video is an example of the practical advice that I share in my live in-person or virtual workshops that help teams create more effective presentations in less time. If that's of interest to you, get in touch. If you found the information in this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching.